Francesco Primaticcio was an Italian Mannerist painter, architect, and sculptor who was born on April 30, 1504 in Bologna, Italy. He spent most of his artistic career in France, and eventually passed away on January 4, 1570. Francesco Primaticcio was a prominent figure in the Mannerist art movement. His paintings were characterized by exaggerated poses, elongated forms, and a focus on elegance and refinement over realism. Primaticcio was also an accomplished architect and sculptor, and his contributions to the development of the Fontainebleau School in France were significant. In addition to his own artistic achievements, Primaticcio was also a mentor to many young artists. Among his students was the famous Flemish painter Franz Porbus the Elder, who would go on to have a successful career of his own. Primaticcio's influence on the development of Mannerism in France and beyond is still felt today. Francesco Primaticcio was born in Bologna and trained under Giulio Romano in Mantua. He became a pupil of Innocenzo de Imola and executed decorations at the Palazzo Te. Later, he secured a position in the court of Francis I of France in 1532, where he worked with Rosso Fiorentino at the Chateau Fontainebleau. Together, they created some of the most impressive works of the time, influencing French art for the rest of the century. After Rosso's death in 1540, Primaticcio took over the artistic direction at Fontainebleau and continued to make designs for tapestry weavers. He was also asked to design elaborate ephemeral decorations for masks and fates, which survive only in preparatory drawings and, sometimes, engravings. Francis I trusted his eye and sent him back to Italy on buying trips in 1540 and again in 1545. During his time in Rome, Primaticcio was asked to take casts of the best Roman sculptures in the papal collections, some of which were cast in bronze to decorate the parterres at Fontainebleau. Primaticcio retained his position as court painter to Francis' heirs, Henry II and Francis II, and his masterpiece, the Sal di Hercule at Fontainebleau, was created. It occupied him and his team from the 1530s to 1559. Towards the end of his life, Primaticcio turned to architecture, creating his greatest work, the Valois Chapel at the Abbey of St. Denis. Despite not being completed until after his death, it was highly regarded. His crowded Mannerist compositions and his long-legged canon of beauty influenced French art for the rest of the century and beyond. In conclusion, Francesco Primaticcio was a highly influential Italian Mannerist painter, architect, and sculptor. His distinct style, characterized by exaggerated poses, elongated forms, and an emphasis on elegance and refinement, left a lasting impact on the art world. Primaticcio's contributions to the Fontainebleau School in France were significant, and his mentorship of young artists, such as Franz Porbus the Elder, further solidified his legacy. His influence on the development of Mannerism, both in France and beyond, is still felt today. Despite facing challenges throughout his career, Primaticcio's talent and vision continued to thrive until his passing in 1570. He will always be remembered as a significant figure in the history of art.